It's a dark day in Kitchener, but inside 367 Wellington Street, the situation is even gloomier. Ella the cat is missing, one of several cats to disappear in recent weeks, prompting speculation that a bizarre Scottish cult may be responsible, spiriting away the furry creatures to manufacture bagpipes and using the entrails to make haggis. Inside, Mark and Marie, Alwood's owners, disappointed at the loss of their little cat and worried that the next cat to disappear may be Elwood's sister, Daphne. Marie and Mark, when did you first realize that your cat had not merely run away? Well, I guess uh, Elwood didn't show up for his dinner last week and it was, well, we let it go for a couple of days and then we got this book in the mail and we found this one, like all these pictures in here are black and white, except for this one. And we think it looks just like Elwood. Do you, Mark and Marie, have any memories that you could share with us, some of the good times with Elwood? Well, we really miss him because he sleeps with us every night and just not, you know, reaching down and there's nothing there. That's upsetting. That there's no little warm spot on the bed. Well, my memories, uh, I guess, are really in these photographs we took um, last Christmas. They were born on Christmas Day, so it was their birthday as well. And this is Elwood and Daphne, and the two of them separate. It's, it's, it's unnatural. They used to play around the house and whatnot. And I guess it's those kind of soft memories that really hurt. And you see a marching band. Do you think of Elwood? Do you look for Elwood in the crowd? Well, we've more or less stopped watching television since he's disappeared because um, of all the cat food commercials. Every time I see a meow mix commercial, I start to break up because that's what he ate. Back to the um, bagpipes thing. You know, we um. We tried to lead a normal life. We went to the parade yesterday, and uh, it was kind of scary when the bagpipe bands came along, because I closed my eyes. I didn't want to look at it for fear of, you know, seeing cat shapes, you know, within those bagpipes. And when I heard the, the shrill sound of those bagpipes, it made me shiver, because to think that, you know, those could be innocent cats, and their vocal cords straining for the amusement of people who enjoy that, I think it's brutal. It's obscene. Shortly after this interview with Mark and Marie, we found that there was a happy ending to the story. Young Elwood was found outside the Renwick household in a basket. There seems to be some kind of disturbance down here. Let's go. Oh my God. Mark, I'm back. I can see your testicles, Mark. Lord oh, Jesus God. Christ. Jeez. You got that much money in you. Somebody call the SPCA. So far, the SPCA have no leads in the case, but it's expected they're looking for cult members at this time. However, the important thing to Marie and Mark is that their cat Elwood is back. In Kitchener, this is Eric Nixon reporting.